there's in that we were in normal illinois or something and frank just started he kind of talks like this and he start, was telling the whole audience a nice little story about what happened between the guys in the band and a couple of groupies from the town and he's talking like this and then he recorded it and brought it back to la and i transcribed the pitches of his voice and then i doubled it on the guitar it sounds really funny <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty peculiar. If you ever get a chance to hear it, it's, as Frank would put it, it sounds like George Benson from Mars. <laughs> but uh, what I would do is, if I had a piece, and if it was a, a full piece, every instrument, I'd go out and buy a bottle of gin, right? <laughs> now I'd uh, sit down and listen to it and see which would be the, the easiest thing to hear first, you know? Say it's guitar, uh, I'd write down all the pitches first. And then, um, if it was a fast passage, I'd bring it down to half speed. Because it's already, you know, listening to something at half speed doesn't necessarily mean it's easier because it's very deceiving what the slurs and stuff sound like. So I would do that for a while and then get the pitches and all the slurs and all the accent of, the accents and all that stuff and then put the uh, rhythms to it. And then if there was other instruments, say there's like four horns or something like that. Now it gets real weird when you start transcribing horns or any similar instru instruments moving in a pattern of um, diatonically in, in this type of a pattern. In the human ear, um, because of the law of acoustics, it's hard to hear what you know the instruments are actually doing. It's almost impossible, as a matter of fact. Um, so I just you know go for broke on that. You can kind of hear the top note, bottom note, and you know, in between. But uh, with full scores, it was a little different. Too. Then after that, it just broke and it moved around. The melody was uh, these notes here, which is the melody. I kind of rigged it. It was an exercise for me, as a matter of fact. Like I say, this song came about when I was just, just constantly writing. And I, I wrote it on the airplane, you know, when I was on tour. And I, 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 uh, I just experimented with taking a bunch of notes, writing them down. That's only about four or five notes. And then seeing how many chords fit that, those notes. And see, that melody will work over all those chords because that's the way, you know, so that was an experimentation that turned out to a little a nice little song, you know. That's what I mean by just totally going out and just writing as much as you can. You come up with some nice things sometimes. Any questions? What year did you go on the air? Uh, oh, that, that'll get pretty extensive. I'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Thanks. This next song is pretty much an arrangement with my band, with the whole band. You know, I've got two more keyboard players and a singer, but we're just going to play the track, okay? in this song talking about ear training this is one of the things you guys can do too it's like a pedal note you know just a pedal actually it's almost a lydian flavor and what i do is Stu just plays like a basic e thing and i'm moving scales around on top of the basic uh the structure of, the, of the, what he's doing so that's a good ear training technique it was a technique i used to memorize the sounds of the modes 